Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Well, it seems that 2021 has been a banner, an excellent year for people behaving badly on aircraft. I don't know why. It's crazy. You think with all the things happening in the world and the big shutdowns that we've had, people just be happy to get on a plane and go see family and friends. And, of course, I'm looking forward to more crazy footage happening over the Christmas holiday season. So I thought it was a good time to review some of the people that are from Crazy Town, acting crazy, and they love being crazy. I don't get it. Maybe you understand it. Maybe you're one of these people that will say, Hey, but Andrew, I love acting crazy. And I don't think that it's anybody's right to stop me from acting crazy. Well, good for you. But I got to remind y'all that this is probably the worst place to actually act disorderly. Everybody's willing to pull their cameras out and videotape you. And you're going to be super embarrassed. And you'll be rewarded with an arrest and a lot of fines and maybe some incarceration. And God forbid, if your boss finds that video, he's probably gonna fire your ass. But go for it if you want to. And we all know where this is heading. More and more airlines are banning people and they're creating those computer lists. And there's even talk of the airlines sharing that information amongst themselves. Yeah, they will just be more no-fly lists. It's another case of one of those things that the few ruin it for the many. So thank you, the few, you people that are mayors of crazy town. So let's take a wonderful retrospective to all the crazy flyers out there in 2021. And God bless you and stay safe and keep your wheels on the ground. A man from Las Vegas was arrested in Salt Lake City. He was caught on camera being unruly during an American Airlines flight. Another video shows the same passenger in his seat apparently growling at the flight crew. Meanwhile, the man who caused a disturbance on an inter-island Hawaiian Airlines flight yesterday punched a flight attendant twice for no apparent reason. Another case in a troubling trend in the skies as an altercation on a flight ended with the pilot calling for help from passengers on the plane. We'd like all strong males to the front of the airport to handle the problem passenger. Delta says an off-duty flight attendant tried to grab the plane's PA system. Terrifying incident on board an American Airlines flight from Kennedy Airport, a passenger now in custody after he allegedly punched a flight attendant in the face. An unruly passenger is now banned from American Airlines, but that could be the least of his issues after he's accused of punching a flight attendant mid-air. Take a look. We have a picture of this man. Hey. Communication. Are we going to the truth? Both of you. Hey. 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 This man got the right dentist. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Help. FBI is now investigating after a fight broke out on a Delta Airlines flight. The man seen in this video throwing punches under arrest now. This as the FAA is now reporting more incidents involving violence on flights. From January 1st through May 24th, there were roughly 2,500 reports of passengers behaving badly. On board, a woman attacked a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. She was asked to get off, but on her way out, police say she hit another flight attendant in the head. That employee was taken to the hospital. The passenger was arrested. Meanwhile, airline passengers were stunned when a woman was caught breastfeeding her hairless cat. We're learning more about the man who allegedly jumped off of a plane on the runway at Sky Harbor Airport over the weekend. Police say Daniel Ramirez opened the back door of a moving plane and jumped out onto the tarmac right here behind me. Our flight sensor reporting to us that a passenger is jumped out of the plane. Another violent incident involving air travel. A Southwest Airlines employee is injured and sent to the hospital after a passenger boarding a flight today in Dallas assaulted her. What happened was as soon as the incident happened, this person was escorted off the plane, arrested, put into custody. Al's paw was yelling, let's go Brandon, which we all know what that means now, and obscenities. Police say it all happened in Terminal 1 on Sunday, so if she wasn't actually on a plane, she was in the terminal. What are you gonna get arrested? You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the I'm aircraft. probably already gonna get arrested. Do you wanna get arrested? I really Then honestly... stand up and get off the aircraft. Oh, no. That's not true. No. I didn't do anything that did anything to No. Don't. You 
can't bullshit share. That's funny. Yeah. That was the resistance that you felt. No. Uh, see, fine, fine. You're better than that, that dude. You're uh, better than that. Fine. I saw you outside before I even came in. You, my mother's a social worker, and you're about to like really because I, you, you made eye contact with me before I ever got on that plane. And, oh, you think he's you. cute? Oh yeah, I thought he was cute too. I thought he was cute too. I looked in his eyeballs, and I thought he looked into my eyeballs. But when the passenger jumped up out of his seat and punched him in the side of the face. It happened about 15 minutes into the flight, and after the passenger allegedly punched the flight attendant, the witness said three passengers jumped up and the man sat back down and didn't move until sheriffs took him off the plane in Honolulu. Now to that emergency landing today at LaGuardia after the flight crew became concerned about a passenger's behavior. Valerie Falsetta shares with a cell phone video of the moments after she and other passengers were forced to evacuate the plane just after 3 p.m. And the passenger who displayed the behavior that caused concern by other passengers is still in custody. We begin with breaking news here at 5 o'clock. Passengers on a flight from LAX forced to tackle someone who tried to breach the cockpit. Delta providing us with this statement, quote, thanks to the crew and passengers of Delta Flight 386 LAX to Nashville who assisted in detaining an unruly passenger as the flight diverted to Albuquerque. We are gonna you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Sit down, don't you dare! Don't you dare touch the flight attendant like this! I don't care about her shit! You know how to behave, it wouldn't have happened! Passenger on a flight bound for LAX. Yeah, this is a live look at that plane as it approaches LAX. And it should have landed a long time ago, but they had to divert to Oklahoma City and land there, and that was because it's happened yet again, an unruly passenger that assaulted not just a flight attendant, but incredulously a U.S. Air Marshal that was on board. Video of that Delta Air airline passenger who officials say acted unruly during a flight from D.C. to L.A. That passenger allegedly attacking a flight attendant and an air marshal. And police say he was booked into jail on complaints of disorderly conduct and public drunkenness. Video shows a fight breaking out as passengers were exiting a packed plane. Passengers watched in shock as a full on brawl broke out on a Frontier Airlines flight at Miami International Airport. He says that ultimately the victim decided not to press charges, so the suspect was able to walk away. I got you, I got you.